What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing. I'm doing all right today. We're back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be doing a reaction video to Pat McAfee. McAfee. McAfee reacts to the Eagles. Um, bench and Jalen Hurts. <laughs> all right. <laughs> if you guys are into the football world like I am, you guys know exactly what happened. Trust me. So basically. Um, Doug Peterson, the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, put a big middle finger to, to, to the New York Giants, alright? So, <laughs> he just put a whole big middle finger. Basically, he rather see the Washington football team, I know, suck team, suck name, make it to the playoff than to see the New York Giants. So, you know, <laughs> Doug, I promise you, Doug, you can never walk the street of New York and don't hear this. Hey yo, Dougie boy! Yes? Fuck you and everything you stand for, you piece of shit! I had to come across the subway and smack the shit out of you, you piece of shit! <laughs> By the way, that, yes, that's my New York accent. Let me know, did I, I feel like I did good. Let me know if you think that's a good New York accent. I feel like I did a good New York accent. Uh, but yeah, Doug Peterson, <laughs> New York don't like you, bro. <laughs> Philadelphia Eagle, New York don't like y'all just because of that. They say, yo, we live, come on, man, help a brother out. Help a brother out. Philly say, Philly say, nah, if I can't get it, you can't get it. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to react to the video, see what's up, what Matt, ha what, what Pat, that's what I'm say, Matt. Pat has to say about it. If you guys new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, show your boys some love. Let's get into it. Doc Peterson shut down all of New York. Facts. Uh, the metro area. I don't know where Giants fans live. I think they're in New Jersey. If I'm not mistaken, I think yeah, it's a Jersey team. Little, little they had office. a Long Island team, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, no. We're, 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 we have a Giants fan in the office, <laughs> and he's kind of griping back there right now. For the, where are Giants fans from? Well, the face started when you first said New Jersey. Right? Well, that's where, right? That's where, that's where, that's where they play. play. That's, where they play. Okay. that's where they happen to play. Okay, that's where and, but that's where a lot of Giants fans are too, right? I think Jersey is Giants. Oh, yeah, Jersey. Yeah. In the shadows of New York City. Yeah, no, no, no. WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> WrestleMania in the shadows oh, yeah. of New York City. That was a great marketing campaign. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Matt Life Stadium. I don't know. That's not a remember. Matt Life Stadium. Okay, so then Jets fans, those are more in the city, aren't they? Long Jets Island. fans are more like Queens, Long Island. Okay. Stooges. Yeah. And where are you from? Long Island. And you're a but Giants fan? I grew fan. up in the city. I'm a Giants fan. Okay, but... Oh, well, that's weird, though. Because in the shadows of New York City, where they play... That's right. They <laughs> say... <laughs> that, that's where... <laughs> Anyways, Giants fans... To get off of the geography issue, yes, Giants fans were not happy last. They're week. not. The Giants players also not happy. Although I think a lot of things were in jest. But that Doug Peterson pulling and Jalen Hurts thing will be talked about for a day or two, and then everybody will just move on. It'll in the combine. Whenever Doug Peterson's getting interviewed during the combine, it'll come up about is Jalen Hurts, and then all of a sudden a conversation that we'll have probably you can probably clip this right now and put it at the time. Remember when? At the end of a game against the New York Giants, he said he wanted to get meaningful reps for Nate Sudfeld. Was that mean mm -hmm. that he doesn't believe in Jalen Hurts as the future? Oh. Is Doug Peterson looking at a quarterback here during the combat? That'll be the entire conversation, and then it'll move on again. It'll be talked about until we figure out what's going to go on with the Eagles, which I think is a complete rebuild. I think they're rechanging that entire team out. How are you going to trade, Car or, or trade Carson Wentz? Nobody has a clue. I just hope Boy, nobody won that big contract. Soon, that whole team's going to be brand new. Gumpy, you got something? Yeah, if you put the Cardinals Rams as that Sunday nighter, we're not even talking about this, Pat. Yeah, I agree. It's during the day. Nobody really cares. Why nobody want Carson Wentz's stupid anymore. big contract? It would garner a little bit of a conversation, but it wouldn't be the main talking point because it's Sunday Night Football. Last game of the NFL's 2020 regular season, the primetime game, with, by the way, Collinsworth and Michaels going, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? There's a lot, a lot of eyes on it, and that decision was made, but it will be talked about until they figure it out, but it feels like the Eagles are doing a week. And it's not just Giants fans that are mad. Uh, ESPN South Bound Antonio oh. went on the uh, Dan Patrick show and said that Roger Goodell and the NFL need to open an investigation on the Eagles' decision to pull Jalen Hurts. So, so, would they pull Why? the video? How do you do an investigation on this? Yeah. Probably, right? There's no way well, that's recorded. Figure you know, out what they're talking about. Well, should they launch an investigation of the Bills for uh, pulling Josh Allen? Well, I uh -huh. guess he would be f on mic'd up. Doug Peterson would have a mic on. Yeah. Imagine if he's under his little score thing. This game's getting a bit too close, boys, huh? <laughs> I think. 
Fourth and goal, gone for what play won't fucking work. What if he's on a mic like that or anything with that, you know what I mean? And they want to get Jalen the fuck out of it. Sedfeld. Sedfeld, yeah. Why well, I said I was going to play him earlier, right? Yeah. That's what I said, right, boys? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fucking put that guy out there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to take the first play, and then he's going to fumble it, too. Oh, That's exactly what I want. Pull the fuck out of No, you're in. Yeah, Jalen, sit the fuck down. Change your mask too. That one doesn't match. He went from he went from cheap mask to good mask there because he's gonna be on the sideline. And then Carson Wentz is sitting there on the sideline like I fucking told everybody this guy's trying to lose. He was setting me up for failure, but I'm at seven hundred million dollars. You're not gonna be able to. Jump off, jump off that. Is that jump how they'll have to? Is that how they're gonna invest? How does Sal Powell, who's been around a long time, where did he say this at? On ESPN? No, it was on. Uh uh, Dan, uh, Dan Patrick. Hey, congrats. Dan Patrick OG, by the way. Yeah, Dan. We're big Dan. Real OG. Fans oh, yeah. here. Uh, whenever I used to go on that show, I used to consider it like, uh, like a big morning. Like, if I was ever asked to go on, I'm like, get to go on DP show. Here, here we go. He also helped us out a lot. That's great. Sal Palatonio, though, never met the guy. Never talked to the guy. He wants a full investigation. He's Philly, isn't he? He's a Philly guy? Oh, yeah. He bet, probably, I would assume. He wants, oh, yeah. he probably wants Peterson out. Ah! Oh, he's a sh- Sal Palantonio is the Bezos of uh, Philly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's the Bezos. He's losing so money. He can't have that. Sal Powell's like, listen, I'm, I'm hiring all my investigative journalists, and I'm sending them right into NFL Films over there to Philadelphia to hear. Because that's where NFL Films is, by the way, right there. You probably get all those clips. <whistles> Full investigation. Okay. That was really interesting. But anyway... So we've been to football where you probably have an idea what's going on for those who don't. Oh gosh, I hope this recording on my memory card. Okay, yeah, it was. But anyway, okay, that's the end of this video, man. And if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, comment down below, share your boys some love, all that good stuff. But that being said, man, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace.